Uh, it's uh, directly across from the reserve desk. It's, it's where the microfiche machines are. There are instructions beside each machine explaining how to insert the microfiche. It's really very easy. All right, thank you. Okay, well, uh, that's all for today. Uh, please be prepared to discuss the first reading in our next class. That's question two, right? I mean, you're answering to question one and two right now? Mm. No. <laughs> no, teacher. I don't know. I don't know. Try, try to, to, to put again. Hi, <laughs> teacher. What happened? What okay. happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so you guys are here. What can be inferred about the articles? That was the first one, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. So the list that is okay. there yes. is the same listening for question one and question two. Oh. Okay. Yes. All right. That's, it's the same listening. That's why you all, I only send three listenings aside from the PPT. For question three, you have the audio that is called phobias. And for question phobias. four, okay. you have the audio that is called phobias too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thanks. So I'm going to stop sharing, and you have the presentation, right? So you can check the yes. answer. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. If you need help, let me know. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, girls. Hi, Elena. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Evelyn. How are you, girls? Hi, doing? Fine. You're, did you share the listening or everybody listened individually? Um, individually. All right. So did you answer already the questions or you're still working on it? No. It's oh, yeah. working. Okay. All right. That's okay. All right. If you need any help, let me know. Okay. Remember that the first listening is for question one and two. Mm -hmm. And phobia, phobia and phobia two is for question three and four. Yeah? Perfect. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Or once, yeah, complete because uh, the student have has a dove and the audio number. I don't know if this. No, I cannot. Oh, this is a long audio. I cannot repeat. <laughs> Hi, girls, do you need help? Yes. Okay, what happened, Nidia? I'm sorry, what's your name again? No, Nidia, you, you're the classmate. It's because I cannot, I don't have the apps to hear the, ah, the audio. Do you want me to share uh, it with you? I, I can share the audio with you girls right now. But I don't yes, know. because my, my classmate has a problem. Okay about it okay so you have not heard any of them yet right no right okay that's okay that's okay okay so i'm gonna play for question number one and two is the same audio nidia okay 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 just give me a second here all right so here we go so this is the first audio which is the for one and two and this is this is the question okay What does the professor imply when she says no, 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 no. Are there any questions concerning the required reading list I just passed out? Yes, I have one. I was wondering. I see that some of the book titles have an asterisk by them. Um, could you explain why? Uh, yes, of course. Hmm. Uh, those books are out of print. I asked the library to purchase them, but unfortunately they can't be purchased, so uh, I've put my personal copies on reserve at the library. Since you can't take materials on reserve out of the library, you'll have to read them there. You have to go to the reserve desk on the second floor to check out anything on reserve. Okay? Anything else? Yeah, I was wondering about the list of articles on the second page. I don't really understand the numbers. Hmm. 
those are articles on microfish. Have you ever used microfish? No, I haven't. Uh, could you see me after class and I'll explain it? Uh, Dr. Burns, I don't know for sure, but I don't think... I think that there are a lot of us that don't know about microfish. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Uh, then I, I guess I'd better explain. You see, microfish materials are at the reserve desk as well. You give that number to the librarian at the reserve desk, and the person on duty will give you a small folder containing the articles on microfish. Then you go to the microfish room. Uh, it's uh, directly across from the reserve desk. It's, it's where the microfish machines are. There are instructions beside each machine explaining how to insert the microfish. It's really very easy. All right. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, that's all for today. Uh, please be prepared to discuss the first reading in our next class. All right, so that was the first listening. And here you have, um, that would be the second question, right? What can be for about the, the two students? So from the same listening, you were supposed to get those two answers. Sorry? Do you want to listen again, Nidia? Please. All right, okay. I'm sorry. What's your class name, Nidia? I don't know the name. Yeah, I, I forgot her name. I'm sorry. What's I'm your name again? Coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's like because we only see some letters there. Karen, you need to be, you need me to play the listening again? Yes. Okay, so do you want me, I mean, do you want me to be showing question one or do you want me to be showing question two? I, I prefer the two. Okay, Anidia, you too? Yes, please. Okay, all right, perfect. So I'm going to leave it there. It's the same audio anyway, so I'm going to play it right now, okay? Okay, thank you. Are there any questions concerning the required reading list I just passed out? Yes, I have one. I was wondering, I see that some of the book titles have an asterisk by them. Um, could you explain why? Uh, yes, of course. Hmm, uh, those books are out of print. I asked the library to purchase them, but unfortunately they can't be purchased, so uh, I've put my personal copies on reserve at the library. Since you can't take materials on reserve out of the library, you'll have to read them there. You have to go to the reserve desk on the second floor to check out anything on reserve. Okay? Anything else? Yeah, I was wondering about the list of articles on the second page. I don't really understand the numbers. Hmm. Those are articles on microfish. Have you ever used microfish? No, I haven't. Uh, could you see me after class and I'll explain it? Uh, Dr. Burns, I don't know for sure, but I don't think... I think that there are a lot of us that don't know about microfish. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Uh, then I, I guess I'd better explain. You see, microfish materials are at the reserve desk as well. You give that number to the librarian at the reserve desk, and the person on duty will give you a small folder containing the articles on microfish. Then you go to the microfish room. Uh, it's uh, directly across from the reserve desk. It's, it's where the microfish machines are. There are instructions beside each machine explaining how to insert the microfish. It's really very easy. All right. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, that's all for today. Uh, please be prepared to discuss the first reading in our next class. All right. Okay. Karen and Nidia, you okay now? Yes, I'm okay. Great. Thank you. All right, very good. So, uh, do you want me to play the listening for number three and number four? Or do you, are you going to answer and check your answers for number one and number two together to see what you guys, what you girls have? I don't know how you prefer cutting because it's me the problem. So, if you want to discuss uh, one and two, we can do it. Hi. I'm so sorry, the internet uh, didn't work. Didn't work. Okay. Uh, could you say, say that again, please? 
I was asking to you if you want to hear the the second audio because it's my problem to listen. Uh, I have the audio on WhatsApp. If you want uh, listening on the PPT, you can do it. I'm going to continue with the next questions. Excuse me, I have a, a call. That's okay, Nidia. Don't worry about it. I'm going to go check in another group, Nidia. I'll be right back. Hola, este, estoy en clase. Please, a las nueve. Sí. Okay. Uh, the number one, what is the main uh, topic about the audio? Hi, Freddy. Oh. Hi, Gabby. Hi. How are you Hi. guys Hi. doing? Hi. Question Hi. one. Where we are yes. yes. Excellent. What's the answer? And letter, well, first question is letter. Letter? B. B. For number one. For the first audio. Okay, and what is question two? What's the answer? And also B. <laughs> it's also B, all right. So number one is not correct, and number two, it is correct. Oh, okay. well. <laughs> what about number three and number four? Uh, well, you, or you haven't finished? No, we okay. are in number three. All right, do you, you know what we're, I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna work with you on question one. All okay. right, and so we can listen to it together and then we can actually decide, okay? Okay. All right, let's see. You, can you see? Yes. Yes, I have one. Are there any questions concerning the required reading list I just passed out? Yes, I have one. I was wondering, I see that some of the book titles have an asterisk by them. Um, could you explain why? Uh, yes, of course. Hmm, uh, those books are out of print. I asked the library to purchase them, but unfortunately they can't be purchased, so uh, I've put my personal copies on reserve at the library. Since you can't take materials on reserve out of the library, you'll have to read them there. You have to go to the reserve desk on the second floor to check out anything on reserve. Okay? Anything? All right. Stop it right there. Remember that when, Freddy when, and Gabby, when you talk about inference questions, the information is not really there. All right? It's being said without being said. <laughs> you understand okay. that? So it, it, uh, at the very beginning, he says they are, they are out of print. That would be too easy. I mean, letter A and letter B, in a way, they are both correct, okay? But it would be way too easy, and TOEFL is not easy, all right, for like, for it to give the answer right away, all right? So it, it is, you know, sometimes on TOEFL, you're gonna find that two answers are like, you know, for you, they're both correct, letter A and letter B. But he keeps on talking about it, and then he says, okay, the, the articles that have asterisks, asterisks on them cannot be taken out. I mean, they're out of print. That's why I gave them my personal copies and personal copies cannot be taken out of the library. And he keeps on explaining it. So at the end, what can be inferred about the articles? Not only that they are out of print, but they are, they are also, uh, they cannot be taken out because they are these type of books or articles, all right? So the rightest answer, if we can actually call it that way, it would be letter A. So we need to yeah. be careful with, uh, with these questions because yeah, sometimes, a, mm -hmm. Gabby, go ahead. It's a little confused because letter B is also correct, right? It is, it is totally correct, uh -huh. okay? okay. But, but it's, it's, you know, sometimes that's why you hate them because you oh, come on. And that's their idea, you know, <laughs> to like confuse you but it would it would be very like way too easy for it to be letter b all is right it it's there the answer is given right there so it can't all right so it's more like inferring the whole thing that's why it's like important to listen to everything and then he explains why they cannot be taken out so that would be the best all right Sometimes it would be a very good idea if they would have like two choices, you know, because in that way A and B would be correct. 
And the first, first one we have, we, uh, we have uh, the We bus. consider the oh, eight. Both. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, that means that you guys are on the right track. Very good. Nice. Okay. Very good. All right. Continue yes. there. You are going to work on three and four, right? Yes. yes. Excellent. Okay. I'm, I'm going to let you work right now. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Gabby. Well, uh... hi. Hi, Robert. Hi, Rodrigo. Hello. Hi. Are you guys finished? Right now, oh, we are at the question number three. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Maribel, what happened? Hi, Maribel. Maribel. Hi, Maribel. Maribel. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, what happened, Maribel? Se salió. Aha. So I think the letter B is for for the question one uh -huh. and i don't know the letter the letter the letter d of the two i don't I, i'm not sure yeah number two is correct my friend maribel number two is letter b and number one is a little bit tricky because letter a and b are both correct but one is more correct than the other one mm -hmm. So, it's between letter A and letter B for number one. Ah, okay. Right. You know where they can be taken out of the library. Mm -hmm. Lo que pasa que... Uh, no, that's true. That's true. Letter A. I think it's letter A. Yeah, because... it is. Uh-huh. Letter A. So, teacher, teacher, I just uh, go out uh, uh, with the group because I want, I want to... Hear the, the 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 audio in my computer, so ah. I understand a little bit more. Ah, okay. <laughs> you're tricky. All okay. right. Yeah. Okay. So right now you're gonna be working on number three and number four, or you finished okay. everything? No, no. Ah, okay. oh, oh, I finished. I finished only the the one number two. one and two. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Now, Maribel, do you want me to leave you here, or do you want me to send you to your group? To the group, I prefer to work with them. Okay, Thank so what, yeah, what number, uh, who are you working with, Maribel? Saida and Manuel. Okay, okay, right now. Uh, Saida and Manuel, okay. Just give me a second. Ah, wait, hold on. Letter A and letter D era. Yes. Ahorita la mando, uh, Maribel. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Freddy. I'm Hi. sorry. Yes, Freddy and Gabby, tell me. Uh -huh. We finished with the... Uh, oh, with everything. Questions. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. All right. So, what do you have for number three? Number three, I think there is... Letter uh, D. Letter yeah, guys. Super good. Yeah, bravo. Very nice. Good. All right. And 
And, and then a. number four. Is for letter A. Yay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> very good, guys. Super good, all right? So you pretty much got everything right because for number one, you had those, I mean, you were between letter A and letter B, which they were both correct, okay? So super good. Congratulations, guys. Very good. Thank you. I'm so proud Thank of you, you Freddie and Gabby. Very nice. <laughs> A couple of more minutes. I need to go check on some groups that are not finished. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank you. All right. Hi, Astrid. Hi, Elena. Hi, Evelyn. Are you girls finished? Yes. Almost finished. I'm almost finished. In the last one. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. That's okay. And Astrid, what about you? Uh, already yet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and Elena? <laughs> All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you like one or two more minutes and then we're going to go back to the main group. I'm going to share the answers. All right, and then I'm going to send you for the last 10 minutes. So the, the activity I want it to get done before tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Arely. Hi, Julia. Girls finished? Hello. Hi, Brenda. Uh, hi. No. Okay, that's okay. What number are you girls work? Are you working individually or were you able to work together? We're working individually. All right. Yeah. Okay. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but not forever alone, right? Mm -hmm. Of course not. <laughs> All right. Brenda, what number are you working on right now? I'm on slide number four. Okay. All right. And Arely? Or Huli? She wrote that she has problem with the internet ah. in a chat. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Julia. And what number are you working on right now, Julia? Hello? What number are you working on right now? I I have the first question, letter mm -hmm. D of Daddy. For number one. All right, that's okay. Yes. I'm gonna okay, okay. I'll give you like one or two more minutes and then I'm, I'm coming. Well, we're going to go back to the. Uh... Sure. Yes, Brenda. I have questions. Mm -hmm. There there are more questions in the uh, in the audio um, at the end of the of the listening section. Uh, I'm not sure if we're supposed to answer those or just select uh, from the um, ABC, the options. Just from the ABC, the options, Brenda. Oh, OK, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Karin. How are you doing? Hello, Miss. Uh, I almost finished. Okay. All right. And Nidia, you you were not able to continue, right, Nidia? All right, Nidia. I'm gonna. Don't worry, Nidia. It's okay. I'm gonna play with you. Uh or for you, number three, okay? Uh, give me a second, yeah, okay. So this is the question, Nidia, what does the professor imply about the treatment of phobias, all right? So listen to the, uh, to the audio right now, okay? Wait, 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 Nidia, wait. Ah, here. A new job, or when you have to meet someone. There you go. So today we're going to continue our discussion of various mental disorders. Specifically, I'm going to focus on various anxiety disorders. Now, of course, everyone feels anxious or uneasy now and again. You may feel anxious on your first day of a new job, or when you have to meet someone important, for example. Some people feel anxious when they visit the dentist. Some typical symptoms include a pounding heart, 
sweaty palms, or a dry mouth. But now, suppose that the anxiety is serious enough to keep you from enjoying life. Maybe it interferes with your work or controls much of your daily routine. Or maybe you experience occasional instances of anxiety that are terrifying enough that you become immobilized with fear. Maybe you will take extreme measures to get away from the object or situation causing the fear. Now, these anxieties can be put into three main groups according to what causes the reaction. The first are what we call specific phobias. These are the most common phobias, and their focus is specific objects. In fact, the thing feared is often relatively safe, and also the sufferer usually realizes that and knows that their fear is irrational. A very common specific phobia is fear of heights, for example. This fear is very common. No doubt some of you have felt this fear from time to time. Fear of spiders and insects is another common one. Spiders are not usually harmful. Well, not usually anyway. But some people break out into a cold sweat and have heart palpitations and become immobile even if they know a spider is on the other side of the room. Some of the less common phobias seem rather bizarre. For example, would you believe some people are afraid of color? Say, the color yellow? Another strange one is fear of laughter. I guess that's not a laughing matter for the sufferer. Okay, so what causes these specific phobias? Well, we don't know exactly. We do know that they tend to run in families, and they are apparently slightly more common in women. Many of them persist. That is, they don't go away on their own. At least that tends to be the case with phobias that develop in adolescence or adulthood. Specific phobias that develop in childhood are more likely to disappear with time. Another category of phobia is called social phobia. This fear is really the fear of being embarrassed or humiliated in front of other people. If social phobia is serious enough, it can prevent a person from continuing in school or work and maybe that person avoids making friends. Now, some social phobics can actually be at ease with other people most of the time, except in particular situations. So, for example, a sufferer here may believe that small mistakes they make are more significant than they really are, or feel that everyone is looking at them. They could also be extremely fearful of, for example, using the phone in front of other people. Or it may be something really simple and seemingly irrational, such as drinking a cup of coffee, or even, say, buttoning a coat in front of others. A third category of phobia is known as agoraphobia. Do I need to put that on the board? No? Okay, fine. Okay, so this phobia causes people to suffer anxiety about being in places or situations from which they perceive it might be difficult to escape or in which it seems help is not available. So agoraphobia might include a fear of traveling alone, being alone in a crowd, or uh, being unable to leave a place easily. People with this condition often develop the disorder after suffering from a panic attack. That is, a feeling of intense terror with symptoms such as sweating and shortness of breath. Such panic attacks may occur randomly and without warning, so this makes it difficult for a sufferer to predict what kind of situation will provoke a panic attack. So then he or she will try to avoid situations and places where such attacks have happened previously. Okay, to wrap up today, well, the good news is that all of these disorders can be treated with some degree of success through various medications and therapies. Tomorrow, we'll look in more detail at the kind of treatments that might prove useful in dealing with some of them. Now get ready to answer the questions. You may use your notes to help you answer. 1. What is the lecture mainly about?
The question that you need to be focusing right Two. now is that the Why does the professor have, say that many people feel anxious when they visit a dentist? Three. What does the professor say about specific phobias? Uh, about the treatment, I think it's the treatment take various forms. Oh. Very good. Listen again to part of the lecture, Hi, then answer the question. Some of the less common phobias seem rather bizarre. For example, right. would you believe some people? Yeah. So, Nidia and, and Karen, for that one, for number three, it's letter D. All right, super good. <laughs> All right, yeah, nice. All right, so, guys, girls, um, we're going to go back because I have the other class right away. So, but okay. that's okay. We, we were able to do this, so that's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, um, I'm sure everybody's finished, and I'm sorry, I, I didn't think it was going to take this long, but I mean, it's okay. So that means that the other activity that I had for tonight, we're going to do it tomorrow, which it's okay because we, we're still right on track anyhow. So uh, how were the listenings? Were they okay? Were they easy to understand? Was it, you know, somewhat okay? Yeah? Comments, comments? Yeah? yeah? All right, so let's see. Uh, for number one, guys, I'm sure everybody finished number one. Uh, that one was a little tricky because let me tell you, and I was telling a group, I think it was Freddie and Gabby, I was talking to TOEFL tries to trick you sometimes, all right? So as in question number one, there were two right choices, if you, we can actually call it that way. But one of them is even more correct than the other one, all right? So, uh, Freddy, in the case of Freddy and Gavi, they, they went for the other choice that is correct, but isn't as correct as the, the other one, but still it's on the right track, okay? But we need to get it uh, so we can get a point on the listening section. So number one, guys, what was it, Freddy? Can you share the answer with us? The first one. Uh-huh. Is letter A. Right, it's letter A. Every, does everybody have letter A for number one? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. So letter B, yes. if you could actually see it, it, they mentioned it also. All right. And that's why Freddy and Gabi, they decided to go with letter B at first. Well, they were kind of like on that, you know, deciding whether it was A or B. Finally, they decided on B. But I was telling them that because this is like inferred questions, the answer was given right away. All right. So that, and that's why it was too easy to see that letter B probably was not the choice they wanted you to choose. All right. But anyway, uh, what about number two, guys? Um, Evelyn, do you have number two? Yes. What's I the answer? Letter C. Letter C. Mm, all right. Maribel, what about you? Let's hear for you number two, Maribel. Letter D. They are sure about this assignment that the professor... For, yes. For number two, is letter D or letter B? D. Letter, letter D. 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 Yeah. D as in David. D as in David. All right. Okay. This is number one. All right. So, uh, they are unsure about the assignment that the professor wants them to complete. Not really. That shouldn't be the right answer. Remember that the guy says at first, what is mic uh, microfish? And then he says, okay, then you can come see me later. And then the other girl says, excuse me, professor, I don't understand what that means either. And I, don't, I think that many other students might not know what that is about. That's why he goes on telling them what's about it, all right, or what is it about? So in that, for number two, letter B would be the right choice. They agree oh. to students, the ones that we could hear is that they agree that other students may not understand the system of what is microfish. So that's why they said, okay, we don't know what that is. So if he explain it a little deeper. All right, what about number three? Uh, Robert, what do you have for number three? 
Or Nidia, what do you have for number three? Nidia, you're there? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, I do uh, have it clear and D, as in David. Yes, and also Nidia, right? I know. Thank you, Robert. Yes, Nidia and Robert, you're right. And I hope everybody's too. It takes various forms, all right? She talked about like almost four okay. minutes about it, all right? So yeah, letter D should be treatments re uh, rarely succeed. She does not say that. Uh, the contrary, it says that most of them, they succeed. Uh, so if you actually look at it, the one that is like the rightest one, because you need to infer it is the treatment takes various forms. And that's why she takes so long to explain everything. And the last one, what does the professor imply when she says this? And then she said something. Uh, um, Astrid, what do you have for number four? Letter C. The students should already know the term? Yes. All right. And anybody else? Letter A. Letter A, who said that? Gabby. Uh, Gabby, why Gabby? Tell us why. Because she said that if she, she want to read that down and the students said that not because they are familiar. All right, yeah. So if for number four, the term may, may not be familiar to the students should be the right answer. All right. Okay, guys, I need to go because I have the other class and I'm already running late, but that's okay. Tomorrow, what I want you to do is to have the platform ready to start listening the section two. Again, we'll continue with section two the second video of the, the platform, the one right after the one we saw today. Don't do anything with it, just have it ready and I'll tell you what to do tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll start, I'm gonna start showing you some activities and resources that may help you improve your listening skills, all right? So thank you so much, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm so glad to see you again and to know that you guys are all safe. Thank you for being with us bye, tonight. Bye. bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice night. You too. Bye.